Alright guys, to celebrate the Star Wars movie coming out as well as May the 4th, I have decided to make a Sarlacc cake. Just so you guys know, it's just going to be a really white cake. Uh, buy one at the store, make it the way it's supposed to be in an 8 inch pan. Uh, make sure for two of those so we can stack. Uh, give it a white frosting. Here, I'm going to go ahead and show you the ingredients that I used. Okay, guys, I'm gonna, I just used just regular vanilla frosting, just to throw on, as well as graham crackers that we're crushing up and spreading on top of the cake to make it the desert. Nice, easy way. And just so you know, for the uh, design, I'm gonna be using this picture. Uh, it's Sarlacc. We all know what Sarlacc is. So, just so you know, it has two beaks, it's got the tongue, of course, and it's got the tentacles. So, nothing important, just use like a knife, cut up the roller, I use just a little bit. Um, uh, these are the pieces that you will need. Okay, I've got these for the shells. You can use your knife to like, you know, give the little wrinkles and whatnot. There for both. The reason why I have toothpicks in there is that it's going to be sticking to the cake into it so it doesn't go anywhere. And I also got my little tentacles <laughs> right there for when the cake comes out and it's ready. So, pretty simple. Um, I'll, not much to it really. Just folding it out, making little pieces, and placing the cake. Um, uh, but that's about it. Um, once it comes out, I'll show you the frosting process, the graham cracker, how I'll be spreading it on, as well as uh, designs, making it look pretty. Let's grab our beautiful cakes. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. Oh, but first, we gotta check and make sure they're done. Aha! Stick that in there like that. Beautiful. And then we stick it in there like that. Beautiful. Alright, we grab our handy dandy grape mitt. Set it to the top. Pull up. Uh -huh. Delicious. Remember, no jumping. Is that it? So pretty. Key notes when you're buying. Just grab the fondant, the multicolor, the pink, brown, dark brown, black uh, fondant. Usually found at the local store. Uh, that's where I got mine. Okay, so and then we are going to frost the layers. So you can get one to stick to the other. Put a little bit on there. Go like that. Set that out of the way here. Nice layer gets on there, nice and round. After that, I'm going to set the other one on top, but then we're going to be hollowing out the middle of the cake. We're going to be cutting out pieces. Put that sit there for a minute. Take our other piece, lay that there on top. We're gonna go ahead and take a. Let's see, where's the serrated blade? And then we're going to start hollowing out the piece of where the cake is going to set. Got that out of the way here. Okay. And actually, that's just what we wanted. This you can lay off the side, eat while you're messing with it. I'm gonna set that off there. 
This part, we are going to go ahead and start setting in the pieces of the Sarlacc. So you go here, grab your tongue piece, which is essentially the base of how I wrapped it around and laid out a template for these to stick in with. We will use some toothpicks for this one, but it's going to take a second. So we're going to grab them, take them over here. Oh no! Okay, this might be a trim effort. So it may take you having to cut a little bit bigger piece, pulling out some of the cake, or rather just letting it sit at the bottom, keeping it there. Make sure your hands are washed, of course. Go ahead and reach that, bring that over here. And then we drop it into the first layer. We only cut into the top layer leaving this to sit because we don't want it to entirely in case the uh, cake we set our pieces in here like that <laughs> give it a nice little I'm going to eat you no no <laughs> perfect then we're going to grab our tentacles here for the inside of the sarlacc Grab those, bring them over here as well. Because all Sarlaccs are equipped with a tentacles. But those we're going to set in later after we frost around it. But those I want to make sure they set in first. So we'll set those off to the side and leave them there. We're going to go ahead and use our honey made crackers. Uh, that we're just going to grab crackers, we're going to crush those up and make them our desert sand. Usually we'll just take about, yeah, we'll take half of those out, put them there, put them out fresh. Uh, I think I've got like, yeah, we'll use this. Better yet. Go ahead and take our rolling fondant roller to start crushing this up. And we don't want like, you know, honey flakes, we want just full on powder. So if you've got something bigger that you can use, I would suggest using it. This is just what I have on hand. Alright, and actually we're going to go ahead and take the uh, sarlacc beak and whatnot, stick it down and get get it all going here, because actually we're going to go ahead and make it to where the sand pours into him, and these we'll just put on last because, you know, it'll be reaching out and wrapping around the cake the way we want to later. So, I actually found that... I'm only going to probably need about half the container, so we'll probably just snack on those. But I found a measuring cup did the job when it came to crushing our stuff into a lovely desert powder. So we're going to take it over here. But unfortunately, this is where it's going to get pretty messy. I actually I should have thought of a way of... Well, we'll just start pouring it on and see how it looks. Get some flakes on there. Start flaking it around here. Start covering it up. Looks like it's being kicked around, you know. Make a little dune here. Kind of spread it evenly throughout the icing. Let it kind of stick. Okay. The rest of the part is what I've done with sprinkles. That's where you take the side, go ahead and lease them, and then you just kind of toss it onto the side of the cake. And if it sticks, perfect. And if not, oh well. <sighs> if you're not afraid to get a little dirty, you can kind of just like, you know, pat it onto the side of your cake a little bit. Let it kind of wall up on here on the bottom, which actually it's a good way of hiding the imperfection icing, you know, like the stuff that you got right here. You can actually throw some crackers there and wall up the bottom here so no one can really tell. It's a great way to actually do it. So we're going to finish patting it on a little bit here. Grab it. Punch it. Throw it on. Tap it. And of course, always make sure your hands are clean. 
kind of gives it that nice little dirt texture on the side, but you still know it's a cake. Because if everybody just saw a piece of art, they'd be like, I'd rather not touch that, you know? Keep the little mound going around the sides here. You can actually help hide, you know, because I'm not the best icing person. You know, I can get it around the cake, but uh, find it a little difficult now and then to... not get it on the bottom of the cake here and since you got some extra it's always good to just pour it off onto your hand and then try it all over again awesome. alright guys now that we got a nice little even graham cracker desert powder help us hide all those imperfections on the bottom no one can tell so we're going to take our little tentacles and we're going to start draping them over the sides here some may be just a little too long, some that we may want long, but we can start setting those in, kind of wrap some around here, because we know it's it's a rather elongated thing, kind of drip it over, give it a little, one you can just lay over. Most of them that you want, you want interesting designs of how you want it to lay on your cake. For me, usually I'll just give like a little zigzag. That's usually a good one. Uh, so actually there's one that I want to do that's actually going to, here, let's turn that over here to the side. Stick that one down in there. Zig it and zag it. Right there, just like that. You know, give that nice little worm design. Actually, from the same knife that we used, I set it back here on the crate and, you know, tap at it a little bit here and give you that little wrinkly look of the sarlacc. Make sure to not uh, keep your fingers out of the way. So here, after that, you can give it a little look-see here and you can see the little wrinkles and whatnot that I put in it and little embellishes. That's what you want. You want that nice wrinkle look. And then kind of stick it right there. Now he's all over the place. Uh, the beak you may have to mess with a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad because it will droop. You want to make sure its mouth stays open a little bit, like it's ready to eat something. So keep it out like that. Give it a nice little om nom nom. I'm gonna eat you. Look, we got one more tentacle. I don't know if there would be. Might move that one off to the side. Scoots the graham cracker over. Make it look a little less disturbed. Maybe we can just drape that one right there. Stick it to the side. And like that, you have made a sarlacc pit cake. Give it a nice, pretty look here. There's two left hands. Who's turning this? I have third one. You didn't know. So pretty. So pretty.